Well, the weather outside's really crummy today. It's all windy and nasty and cold, so I'm just kind of doing guitar stuff today. And um, this is one I've had in my drawer for quite a long time. It's called the Shock a Tube, and it's uh, real similar to a Chandler tube driver. Um, uses the same principle of a starved plate 12AX7 and uh, an IC chip to get distortion. I like this pedal a lot. Um, I'm particularly proud of it for a few reasons. One was that I was able to get my preamp tube inside of here with the usual way I like to have things laid out. Like I like to have you know, volume, gain, tone, or something like that. I like to have these Hammond 1590 BB boxes in, in this kind of a format as opposed to being this way. I just like it better. So, why am I so proud of this one, you might ask? Well, for one, look at that nice ventilation holes all done with a hand drill. <laughs> but that's not the real reason why I'm impressed with myself on this one. I'm impressed with this because of the way I the clever way I've found to mount this preamp tube inside of here and the PCB, as you can see I get a couple of brackets here that the pots hold one end of the bracket and the other end gets screwed to, into the PCB so that holds it in there nice and firm. But what I thought was really brilliant was the way I came up with this tube socket mounting bracket. So I was able to get this tube in at an angle and get everything inside of the enclosure. Now I designed this PCB myself. I opted to make the power supply be on its own little PCB and then the, the uh, audio part on its own PCB. And um, But I thought this bracket was pretty ingenious. Um, the way I came up with this was I just got a piece of paper and I folded it in various ways um, with the thought that I could use the bypass switch and the input jack to hold it in place and I just kind of folded this paper up in various ways until I found something that would be functional and then I just took this thin piece of sheet aluminum I had from stuff that someone gave me and uh, fashion this tube socket holder from it and it holds the tube, tube in there nice and secure and I was happy because I was able to get it all inside of an enclosure. Sometimes people make these tube pedals and they have tubes like sticking up out of here and I just I totally don't like that. The tubes are just you know that they're, they're too vulnerable and you know, it doesn't fit in a pedal board case very well. You've got these two tubes sticking up. I, I just don't like it. So I was pretty happy with this method I came up with um, to mount that tube. And of course, I think it looks cool with all these ventilation holes, which probably really aren't necessary, but I figure, hey, it can't hurt and it looks cool. So just another uh, do it yourself guitar effect idea for you. Maybe. This might inspire you to do something similar that you maybe you're thinking about and you're like, I don't know how to get everything in there and that's small of an enclosure. Well, this is one way you can do it. So there you go. See you on the next video.